Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing the uh, Mega Man pixel shading or the pixel persona shading tutorial where we're going to take a vector object like this and turn it into this. Uh, what we're going to do is I have the speed drawing kind of going in the background and I'm going to kind of do some other stuff over here while that's going on. We're going to kind of have a little bit of a multitasking video going on here, but everything should work out just fine. So uh, basically, if you don't know, uh, Affinity Designer is perfect for designing both vector and uh, just like rasterized uh, designs. So as where Photoshop is more of like a raster program, and if you're drawing in Photoshop, it's all going to be raster drawings. Versus if you're drawing an illustrator, you're going to be drawing all like kind of vector designs and stuff. Uh, Affinity kind of combines both those and you can do, uh, you know, you can just draw in vector and go into, you know, your brushes and like really kind of uh, get that shading that you do in Photoshop and everything. And it, it's really good. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, this video, which I'll have a link to, I have had done a couple months ago, and this is kind of the simple version of how to uh, do the pixel persona. You know, uh, BB-8 here is just a, a sphere, and then there's a little bit of shading kind of around, but for the most part, this is 101, okay? So if you haven't seen this video yet, you should definitely watch this one first, and then uh, because of the popularity of this video, I decided to do this video, um, which is a little more advanced. OK, so uh, let me close this out. Let me close this out. And what I want to do is uh, give a plug to my website, uh, vectorart.club, not .com, .club. This is where all of my tutorials can be found. And uh, uh, even though it's not up on the wall, I also do uh, affinity for iPad photos. Uh, okay, so let's close this. Uh, also, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, you know, just, just keep plugging <laughs> some of my videos. Uh, this was the video that this evolved from. So uh, I showed you how to use symmetry to make these little pop figures. And then in this video now, uh, we're going to take it to the next level and... Uh, you know, we're going to, we're going to shade it. So I'm basically, you can kind of see what's going on in the speed drawing version. And what I'm going to do over here is just kind of, kind of go over some of the basics because it's too complicated to be going over like every little thing I'm doing on that side. Um, but just kind of reiterate some of the basics here. Um, you know, let's say we got, a uh, the head here. And I'll kind of go in and give it like a that color. Okay, so so the way this is going to work is we have a vector layer here, and we want to create a pixel layer for the shading. And once we create that pixel layer, if we just drag it into the vector layer like this, we can then go into the pixel persona and click a brush, uh, go to our brush palette, and let's make that nice and big, and uh, let's set that down to like 20%. Well, let's go harsh just so you guys can see what I'm doing here. But basically, you can paint around something, and you don't have to worry about uh, any of the borders or anything like that. It's all going to be confined and... Uh, you can just you can just kind of keep painting and you don't got to worry about stuff. Same with like textures. Um, you know, this lets you get in and just really kind of do whatever you want to this. And it's all going to be within the this document here. So if we pull this back out, you know, as we can see, it's, uh, you know, went well over the edges. Uh, you can also make multiple layers and you know, kind of use whatever textures you want or anything. So that's, that's just kind of basically what's going on over in the speed drawing. 
and um, let me get rid of some of the, let me get rid of these two pixel layers and uh, I'm going to kind of go more into depth on this subject. So what I'm doing, if you have a circle like the BB-8, it's kind of, you know, obvious what's going on. Or if you have, uh, um, you know, even the face here, uh, it's not that big of a deal to kind of shade that. I will show you one trick. Uh, you can do both uh, vector and pixel shading. Um, you know, it's not a bad idea to go in and use the... Uh, the gradient tool to kind of get some of those, uh, some of the uh, gradients like done in vector and then go in even more and do it. Um, so I'm actually going to kind of get rid of that. All right. So let's kind of get something that's like a little bit more of an abstract shape going on here. Um, and if you always have too many points, you can kind of delete them down. But I just want something that's not 100% circle. And basically what we're going to do here is let's go ahead and make it gray. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Pixel layer. We're going to drop it down into there. So now whatever we do on this layer um, in the pixel persona wise is going to get. Okay. Kind of go to a dark gray and we're going to go down to 30%. And what I'm trying to do here is uh, I want to kind of figure out what the lighting is first. And I kind of went over this in the other one. But if the light source is here, you kind of got to get that like mentality going of where your highlights are. And where your shadow is going to be. So for this, let me make another pixel layer. Let me drop it beneath. So just based on this, you know, the shadow is going to kind of cast this way. And uh, the highlights are going to be over here. So that means the shadow is going to kind of be over here. So we can kind of come around. Do that now. This I imagine kind of like dipping in a little bit, so we can kind of go down to one on the percentage here, and uh, you know, we can kind of start doing this to it and just kind of like getting it, getting it where we want it slowly. And like I said, this is this is. You got to know what you're doing and you might not be perfect at it right away. It's really not a big deal. So basically the technique I like to use though is uh, kind of do like the shadow layer. And then I like to do another one for highlights. And then kind of once I get them close to where I think it's cool, I'll, uh, I'll do just another layer on top of that for, and I'll just kind of do both to kind of finish it out. So highlights, you know, are going to kind of be like, Right in the middle here. Actually, we want to go bright white with the highlights. So now we're kind of starting to see depth. This light's going to kind of come around the edge of this. So you just make sure you're going light. And uh, you can always kind of go back in and uh, do what you want. So. I think like a big highlight would kind of be here. So we're going to kind of work this area over a little bit. 
now, now we're kind of starting to see the shape here that we want. Um, I'm going to go in with a real good highlight. Oops. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm going to go in with a really good highlight. Let's go up to like 30%. Oops. Got away with me. Uh, I am using the mouse right now. Um, so I do recommend using a Wacom tablet when you draw like this, but I don't know. I just felt like using the mouse. So this is kind of, you know, getting, getting there. We definitely want to put like a highlight highlight on this, maybe like right here. So I can kind of go up to like maybe five and then. Let me go down to one again and kind of work smooth that out. That, that one's a little. Okay. So now, now this is kind of where, now if I want to add shadows in again, it gets a little hectic because I'm going to kind of go to add shadows. And I mean, I guess it would work in this instance, but um, uh, sometimes you kind of want to go over what you have and it's it's hard to do. So once you kind of get like around the area of uh, like this is looking OK, uh, basically what I'll do then is make a third layer and then I kind of just uh, go over both. So now we're going to go like pretty much black here and, uh, you know, we're going to go up to like 60 percent and uh, we're really going to get those darks dark here. And kind of around the edge, even if the light's hitting there, you know, you're still going to want that contrast. So kind of going around the edge is good. I'm going to go down to 2% here, kind of just get in the side. And I mean, basically, this is what you're doing. And you're just kind of going back and forth uh, until you get what you want. And it's probably going to take a lot longer than the speed drawing to really get this right. But just remember this, kind of to wrap it up. You can always then go over top and like kind of draw on top without the mask. Um, you know, maybe with like a thin, uh, you know, a thin brush or something to kind of really, uh, you know, finish it off and kind of get some of that detail in that uh, you want. So that's basically what's going on here. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, you know, just it's a great program that does both vector and pixel very easily and uh, definitely give me a subscribe if you guys like what you see and if you got any questions leave them in the comments